I have something to confess. Remember how I told you about how amazing it is to work remotely and run a business while traveling? Well, that was only half of the story. So here's the other half. To me, to me. I've been wanting to tell you guys something that I've never shared before, but I think it's super important for me to share. So I thought this might be just the right time to share with you guys. But before I do that, let me board my flight. Before we dive into some of the valuable lessons that I've learned, for those of you who are new, my name is Joanna. I am an online entrepreneur and a digital nomad. Check it out. <sighs> so, if you're wondering, why should I be listening to this girl? Well, I can tell you this. I've been in your shoes, I've learned through trial and error on the things that I'll be sharing with you. So, let's get started. Hey. <sighs> Welcome to my home slash office space here in... <laughs> Punta Cana, Dominican Republic for the next month. But anyways, I think now is a good time to tell you guys my story of how things got started. Let's go. Okay, so back in 2019, before the pandemic started, I was working as a full-time social media manager for a marketing agency. I felt trapped being confined physically to a single location. I've always knew deep down I needed to find a way out of this nine to five grind and start my own business online. What about money? <laughs> But at the same time, I didn't want to leave my full-time salary just yet. And that's why I decided to just start off by testing the water and see if this digital nomad thing will even work for me. And that's why I first negotiated for my full-time role to be transitioned into a remote role. And that way I can get a taste of what's it like to work remotely without losing my full-time salary, if you know what I mean. So here's a pro tip for those of you who want to become location independent but without risking your financial security and that is you can always try to see if you can turn your current full-time job into a remote one um, and which is what I did at the beginning and you can go from there but just know that there are a lot of downsides of working for somebody else full-time remotely especially if you're in a different time zone which i will talk about in a bit but just know that this is like the easiest way for you to start a location independent career anyways after meetings and meetings i finally convinced my boss to let me work for them full-time remotely but under one condition and that is i need to work in the same time zone as the company which is the eastern center time zone which means it doesn't matter wherever i'll be in the world i'll always have to work and operate in the nine to five eastern center time but to be honest i didn't really think too much of it at that time i was just like okay thank you because i was just way too excited to finally start traveling and working remotely full time so i immediately bought a one-way ticket and visited many countries on my bucket list like uzbekistan zimbabwe south africa and a bunch of countries in the southeast asia for about five months all while working remotely full time. It was fun and cool from the outside, but I quickly realized that that lifestyle was so not sustainable. And in fact, it was actually really bad for my physical health because I had to pull all nighters almost every single night for five months straight because I had to work in the Eastern Center time zone. And I was always traveling on the other side of the world. So basically I would work from 9 p.m. all the way to 4 to 5 a.m every single night for five months straight. To be honest, because of this, I couldn't really enjoy my travel because I was constantly feeling exhausted and tired from working overnight. So I had to ask myself, what can I do so that I can keep traveling and working remotely, 
but work according to my own schedule. And that's when I decided to launch my online company, Social Nomad Academy. So SNA is really the result of my own desire of wanting to be location independent without working for somebody else. But there are other problems. Even though when I started my own business, I can technically work whenever I want to, but there's so many other unforeseen circumstances that I need to adjust for, and I definitely made quite a few mistakes along the way. So let me tell you guys all about them. One thing I wish I knew earlier before starting my online business was to set up a virtual mailbox. So you might be wondering, what is a virtual mailbox? Well, it's essentially a digital mailbox that provides digital nomads and online business a real mailing address so that we can receive postal mails and packages anywhere globally. So what happened was after I decided to start my business, I was really naive enough to assume that I could just, you know, handle everything online. But I was wrong. I realized that the world hasn't done away with snail mail just yet. And a lot of important documents and notice still came through the good old fashioned mail. And that has become a problem that I didn't know I had because I was constantly traveling and staying in different places. That's when I started researching online and I came across this amazing virtual mail service called PostScan Mail. So PostScan Mail allows me to view and manage my postal mails online literally from anywhere in the world. Basically, they provided me with a dedicated business mailing address for me to receive mails or send mails to. So when my mails arrives at the mailing address at PostScan Mail, it will then be sorted and scanned. Um, but don't worry, everything is done securely. And I can then decide whether if I want to forward the mail to another address keep it on file or have it open and scanned for digital viewings or securely dispose of it. And I can literally do everything online through my computer or my phone or a tablet. This also leads to another thing that I wish I knew when I was starting my online business, which is package forwarding. Well, a lot of you guys already knew my business lifestyle consists of, well, moving around a lot. So it's extremely important for me to have a system that allows me to manage my package delivery. Now, having a package forwarding system gives me the freedom of operating my business completely remotely while still having a physical place to receive my packages. So that's where PostScan Mail comes in really handy. PostScan Mail not only helps me in receiving my packages, store them for me, but more specifically, I can also have PostScan Mail consolidating multiple packages into a single shipment and forwarding to wherever I am in the world with a tracking and delivery notification. So yeah, if you're thinking about becoming a digital nomad or starting an online business remotely, I definitely recommend you to consider having a virtual mailbox like the one that PostScan Mail has because it's gonna save you a lot of time and troubles in the long run. So if you guys are interested, make sure to sign up for an account with PostScan Mail using the link in my description box below. You will not regret it. Last but not least, I wish that I had started doing what I'm doing earlier instead of waiting for the perfect timing. What I realized is that there's no such thing as perfect timing, meaning that you will never find the exact numbers of clients that you want to work with or the exact numbers of money that you want to have in your bank account. Of course, like I said, I do not recommend you to just quit your job and leave your financial security behind. That's not what I'm saying but just know that at some point, you might wanna take a leap of faith and trust that when you create space in your life to welcome new opportunities and put yourself out there, things will come to you. It might be a roller coaster ride or it might not always be zipping coconuts on the beach, but just know that it will be worth it for those days when that's exactly what you're doing. So yeah, if you do find yourself in a similar situation and you need a little help with getting started, definitely check out the link in my description box. I do have a free masterclass that you can attend. Don't forget to sign up for an account with PostScan Mail. The link is in my description box if you guys are interested in getting yourself set up with a virtual mail service. Anyways, it's getting really dark here now, so I'm gonna head back home. But before I wrap up this video, make sure 
to just do it. No excuse, there's no perfect timing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.